This is a ship tour of the Norwegian Joy. You can grab some books, play some games, floor six. So right on the aft portion of the, of the ship, you got the queue, barbecue. And this restaurant is, is a pay for restaurant. Okay, and it also um, had music. We listened to some music here last night. So, pay for restaurant and music. My correction, this would be the Ford on the ship. And then from there you have the atrium. This area was filling up like crazy for events. Okay, here, shore excursion, guest services over there. A bar here, Starbucks in the morning if you want some coffee, first thing. So in the middle of floor six, got this beautiful chandelier. It changes colors at certain times. And right here is the dance, laugh and be social. We saw some comedy there. You guys, they actually had some pretty good comedy there. They do the, you know, under, under 18 event. It's pretty good. The art goes all the way down the hall. To the left, next to the next to the social, you got Maltines. It's a whiskey bar. And then over here, you got Teppanyaki, and that is your pay-for restaurant. What is that going to be? It's going to be your typical hibachi style. Down here, you got your you got your uh, bar area. You got taste on one side. They were playing a piano um, before dinner. And then on the other side, you got a saver. <laughs> and uh, the nice thing about taste and saver is that it's a little more refined sitting. It's a little more um, intimate. Um, and those are going to be your, those are going to be your basic, um, you know, complimentary restaurants, but they're really nice because it, it gives you a really upscale feel. This would be a place they would take a picture that set something back up behind that seat and take pictures. We're now at the aft portion of the ship or towards that direction. See in the aft part of the ship on floor seven now, you got the Manhattan room. Now this room right here, this is your complimentary dining here. So the tables in here are much more, this is a big dining hall so you can see it'll hold your bigger groups of people and it's a lot a lot of people and so typically this area is going to be louder whereas taste and savor are a little more intimate for people tables but we had window seats for taste saver and in here and one night we sat in the middle of it that's one nice thing about um, NCL cruises and the Joy and the Escape are very similar for layouts. Um, I love being able to see out uh, and getting a window seat is so nice. So, your casino, they play some music and reflect it off of there. Yeah, they, they'll have people playing up on there like you're watching somebody. <laughs> All right, so your casino, typical floor seven. One of the nice things about this casino, that's the smoking area, not the whole casino. In there you smoke. Out here, no smoking. So nice. So your typical tables and more casino in there. We're above now the social club. Teppanyaki with this light fixture again. Over the atrium is the local. Now this place you can get breakfast, lunch, dinner, and uh, there's a bar here. But this area, you can grab something to eat and then you can watch the activities in the atrium down here. So it's a great area. One thing I will say about the atrium is they don't have a lot of chairs down here. I mean, actually right now it doesn't look so bad, but this area gets so full um, for certain events. They run out of chairs real fast. They bring up folding chairs. As those folding chairs are not that comfortable. So sometimes I'll sit up here, you know, and sit in these chairs um, and you can watch something down below. So when you go full forward, 
floor 70 of the Joy Theater. You got a little game area here right next to the theater and that of course is the social eating area. A little small game area. Now for whatever reason, last time we were on NCL Escape, they let us video the shows. This trip, no video, no photography, they didn't want anything going on in their show. I don't know, it was just the actors or the dancers didn't want to be videoed, so. Floor eight, the waterfront. The waterfront is one of the reasons that we actually love, love the Norwegian Joy and the Escape. This floor plan layout for the ship is amazing. So out here, this is what we like about this. There's places to sit here and eat outside. Right here you have ocean blue. You can have something to eat and sit out on the water. You guys are really nice. There's some comfy chairs a little bit past ocean blue and uh, you can walk the water. And uh, that's a highlight, we love it. You can sit down there, you know, relax, have a, something to drink and take this in. The sunset's getting ready to come. Yeah, I'm doing this early. I'm an early riser. And right next to the exit, again, on floor eight here, Food Republic. This is a pay for food area. And on the other side, the aft portion of the ship, or excuse me, forward, the brew house. This is a good place to grab a beer and listen to music. They do have a cool bar in there, but brew house. So on the other side of the ship, um, same thing. You got seating over here uh, and a place to hang out and you know watch the sunrise or set. Awesome. Okay, as we walk away from the forward section of the boat, we have La Cucina, which I'll put a little something in there. We actually ate out on the we actually ate out on the deck there. Super nice, you guys, because like I said, you get to watch the water outside while you're eating. Super nice. Very good restaurant, La Cucina. It is a pay for restaurant. Right next to it, you got the cellars, place to sample champagne, wine, that kind of a thing. Here's the ocean blue on the other side, another pay for. As I said, it sits out on the ocean front. And then there's that chandelier again, so we're back in the middle of the ship again. So you got your sundries here. The cavern. So you guys, the cavern, they were doing a Beatles thing in here. Another place to have a drink. And you can see the ocean out there again. And uh, they had some music in there. And as I said, they've been doing a Beatles thing. When they're not doing the Beatles thing, they're uh, playing other piano and whatever um, in there. Across from it, Sugarcane Mojito Bar. There's been some people dancing and singing here. And then again, you can see out to the, to the ocean. One of the things, you can go out that door right there and then just go out. There's a bar on the other side of this bar, um, but you can see there's some nice chairs. This is a great area to sit, you guys. Look at these nice comfy couches out here, right? And then you just get the ocean view. More shopping. They'll typically have things on the counters out here, especially up here. They'll line it up with t shirts and different things, watches, whatever. You got the beauty shop. Hey, I needed something, <laughs> so I grabbed it from here. My GoPro wasn't working. First, for whatever reason, I didn't get a charge on it. Then I got the charge on it, and the next day, my SD card wasn't, my micro SD card was not working. I was so bummed because the two best places I've ever snorkeled in Honduras and Belize, my GoPro did not work. Very disappointing. But hey, they had a card for my, for my GoPro. Micro SD wasn't even that bad. You can get one for $15. It was crazy. 
Then you got the beauty shop, of course. And boutique for your jewelry. And down this way, you're going to have two more fine dining. The Bistro and Cagney's. We're actually going to sit in Cagney's tonight. We're going to have dinner in Cagney's tonight. And then again, there's the waterfront. So there, that deck just goes the full length of the ship. So I'm walking on the ocean front, floor eight still. And this is the sitting area, you guys. It's so wonderful. One of the great things we love about the joy and the escape is this layout. Okay, sunrise. Beautiful. So I decided to walk back down this way. Uh, first of all, because it's wonderful. But second, because I forgot to show one th more thing here on floor eight. And that's the humidor. For all you cigar smokers out there. The humidor cigar lounge. A cigar the humidor floor five actually has your splash academy for your little kids to hang out for the day floor 15 they call this the observation deck you can grab a little snacks here this will open before your buffet your juice and coffee and then of course little snacks here like yogurt and pastries and fruit this is the aft part of the ship. You got your bar there. Starbucks over there. Lots of seating. And of course this wonderful view for the sunrise. They'll play some music here. Nice place to hang out. Floor 16 on the cafe. You got the cool thing of the, of, there's four of these around here if you want ice cream. Of course it's too early for that, but yeah. The great area here is the eggs and omelets. They actually make you an omelet. I love that. So that's one thing I absolutely love, you guys, that they make these fresh omelets. So good with everything on it. Yeah, it looks wonderful. So floor 16, all your buffet. And we're on our way out. Floor 16, music, pool, adult, adult only pool. This is where we saw a big movie on that giant screen. Floor 16 pool area. A couple of hot tubs, kids play area. Floor 17, American Diner, that's a sit down complimentary restaurant. And you can see late in the afternoon, the line gets pretty big. Kind of cool to do that though, cause you get service there. Sit down, have lunch, get service. Then you got some uh, ocean loops. You got some, uh, that's a super slide, huh? So the aqua racer, you go up here off deck 17. And then that is a tube slide. Pretty good. And then of course you got the kid pool area down on 16 there. This is the walkway on floor 17. Really not much of a walkway in the afternoon when there's people everywhere. Got to get here in the morning. The speedway up here. You got the track here. So you gotta go up one more floor. You got the cars in here. Come through here, there's your finish line. So on 17, you can check in going that way, but you go up this way and you can view the raceway. That would be a pass right there. See, like this guy right here, see, he's faster. There's a few different packages. I believe you can do one for $15 one time. They do have an unlimited package where you can ride anytime it's open. Yeah, that's probably 150 bucks or something like that. I'm, I don't remember, but they have two different types of packages like that. So 
Yeah, we're way up here on deck uh, 17, 18. This deck 18, I believe. Here's the two bride. Mini golf here on 18. So you can keep your kids occupied. See? Got all your little ones playing mini golf here. And of course, in the very aft of the ship, at 16, you have this uh, spot here. I'm assuming this is Haven or the spa area that you can access. That was the ship tour, and uh, it's a really nice ship, you guys. This, I, we love this layout, though. Like I said earlier, with the waterfront space. And, uh, oh, one correction, I believe I'll put that in the, in the video, that the area that I showed, I thought it was the Haven area. I believe that was actually the uh, Spice H2O, um, where they have a party uh, at night. So, yeah, it's a great ship, and I hope you enjoyed my ship tour.